Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that um, I didn't have this up when I usually do. I normally, I these episodes get added on the Crunchyroll on Sundays, and then I usually watch them in the morning and do stuff, but then I was doing other things. I've been working um, for like the past week on that Minions 4-hour <laughs> review uh, that I did, and been doing some other stuff. I actually had my final for school today too, so I had to prep for that. But I'm getting this done now. I got to watch the episode. This one was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. This one is about like characters trying to dig up dirt on people and kind of goes the way you'd expect. Like with the other episodes, they've just been focused on like introducing new characters, but I feel like we've probably introduced everyone. So now it's mostly just like silly shenanigans and stuff. I like how this one's mostly like uh, Toriko and Nogotan just like hanging out and doing things. So there's like multiple little like, because the episodes are like 20 minutes, but the little like kind of stories are like five minutes each. So it's like kind of a variety of them. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'll start with my notes. Uh, Nogotan rolling all the way to school was kind of funny. I like when she becomes chibi-fied, but which happens a lot, but um, in that specific scene, she's like rolling around on the floor and her head just becomes like massive. That was kind of funny. Uh, there's a part where Nokotan, as like a joke, she's getting chased in the jungle by hunters in like a really dramatic like movie action sequence. That was actually really cool, but I like when the show gets like that ridiculously silly where it just becomes like a parody. And then the, the first sort of little story is like Toriko um, thinking that she got a love letter and she didn't and Nokotan's just talking to her about it and Nokotan's like so sad she didn't get any love letters and I like how the narrator's just like please send her letters or like fan art or whatever. Uh, the narrator is actually kind of growing on me as like sort of basically like a character of just having like really silly things to say or like making fun of the protagonist. Um, like I assumed how this anime was was uh and how many characters secretly seemed to like nokotan that the joke was actually going to be that the letter the locker like she'd open it and it would just be like overflowing with love letters and instead there was just like nothing in there but it sort of fit because nokotan like expected there to be something in there like she detected it with the antlers and then nope <laughs> And I like the contrast of like Toriko is so like shy and cutesy about love and meanwhile Nokotan is like very passionate about it. Like there's a part where she yells in her face kind of like a deer sergeant and it changes to like when her, her head kind of becomes kind of like a Jojo character. Um, but I thought it was cool advice of like yeah you're not taking the letter seriously but how would it feel for the sender and then immediately becomes gentle and the background changes too saying how she should meet halfway though she does give the advice of one part of love and be loved and i'm gonna be honest i took a screenshot of that because that was kind of nice and then it's funny because the joke builds up for like five minutes about like oh who could this love letter be from and then it turns out it's not even a love letter it's like a challenge to a fight there's like these other characters like delinquents from another school wondering if they're going to be like plot important but it's nice that nogotan wants to help where there's like these three other delinquent girls and they all have like various weapons like the bat with the nail i like pretty much expected but i was not expecting someone to come in with like a chain uh but Toriko actually takes them, like, two them down unarmed at first. I was pretty impressed by that, because I don't think we've ever seen her, like... Like, we know that she's, like, a former top delinquent, but I don't think we've seen her, like, fight anybody so far. So that fight scene was actually really cool, and I like how it ended with, like... Uh, Toriko ends up struggling a little bit and Nokotan throws her her deer antlers and then the deer antlers turn out to be basically like a grenade and it like freaking blows up the school gym but it's like super dramatic and slow and of course as Toriko puts it this is a brain rot comedy anime there were no casualties and it's as if it never happened and that's pretty much like the way the whole joke ends. I just love how this anime being like a comedy anime everything escalates so so much by like the end of the joke and then it goes with to another section of like Toriko um trying to spy on Nokotan and Nokotan's just like sitting in a park vibing and just assume she's like homeless the antlers I love all of the gags relating to Nokotan's um 
antlers like she takes them off so often and then this time there's like bananas inside and the joke set up as if she's like eating her own antlers which i was almost gonna write a note about asking if that was like cannibalism for her but she just turns out to be eating bananas and of course she works at the deer exhibit too i like the part where there's like these people that walk up to the deer exhibit and they treat nokotan like an actual deer but then she also it turns out she just works there but she works there in a way where it's like she's a deer like she's part of the exhibit but she's also um like the deer expert there pretty much and it sounds it sounds like her of course that she would sell deer crackers to people and then eat them for herself like poor other deer that were there but the 3d d deer in that shot like there's one that like slowly approaches to eat the deer cracker and like the way it moves it's not just how it's contract contrasted with like 2d art but like just the way the deers move look like so creepy to me but it's also really funny and then there's a part um not this specific scene that's used in the um well it is that scene but like a later shot of what's used in the thumbnail right now there's a part where nokotan she's standing on top of these deer like walking on top of them and they're all like blowing and stuff was that supposed to be a reference to nausicaa i thought that was kind of funny i'm like wait the same thing sort of happens in that one too i i like how the audience is like witnessing it as if it's like a miracle or something and they treat it as if it's a prophecy of like oh there's a deer with a school uniform she's supposed to be here among the deer or whatever and i kind of assumed that nokotan did like live in the zoo but it's just that she works there we never actually find out um where she lives i'm assuming probably just like a house or something but i like how that part of the episode was just like nokotan and toriko sort of like hanging out or interacting a bit uh i thought it was kind of cute when they ended up getting boba together actually when i was looking in google images for um like a picture to use i did find one of them sitting getting boba which also felt like kind of bittersweet because there's a deer there that actually like talks and they don't really acknowledge it um i thought that was cute but i liked this shot better of like nokotan on top of all the deer uh and then like the third little story in here is that there's that like red haired sort of cat looking girl um she tries to find dirt because this whole episode is like trying to find dirt on characters and stuff and she wants to find some dirt on Torko and is immediately jump scared by nokotan and is forced to join deer club temporarily and there's this whole bit where there's like deer training and it's taken so seriously that was actually probably my favorite part of the episode because it was like actually pretty funny and then it ends with the girl realizing she loved deer club and then remembering like oh man i didn't remember to dig up any dirt but it was funny how she like was kind of weirded out by like all the deer stuff and then got like super into it and was made into like an honorary deer she's treated as if um like she's kind of the chosen one the true deer and bashime ends up like really mad about it like no i wanted to be the true deer uh but that was cool because i feel like we don't really get to see the club actually do anything like usually we see the club and the members are just kind of lounging around but here it's good to know they have like actual deer training and stuff so that's like pretty much the whole episode i actually enjoyed it a lot um i think the first episode is still my favorite so far but this definitely could be like my second favorite because some of the other ones even though the point was that they were like to introduce characters and stuff i kind of felt like eh about them um but this one i enjoyed a lot this was cool i hope like more of the episodes will probably have this tone of like little individual stories like focusing on different characters and stuff because i don't think there would be anyone else to introduce it seems like they're kind of done with that not like there's like a ton of main characters in this show but i think for being a comedy anime anime um that's all it really needs but yeah this one was cool sorry i'm getting this review to you guys like a day late uh but you know it's here i'll try to be more on time uh actually this is my last week as i'm recording um of my class and then i should hopefully be done with everything until my classes start in like two weeks so i'll probably be more you know on time with this all right later